good times roll. Hey everyone, welcome to Funny Side Up. I'm Lisa, your host, and today we are celebrating Mardi Gras. And I thought I would learn how to make a delicious new cocktail that will get our fun going. I was inspired by a drink called the Ramos Gin Fizz. And traditionally it has orange flower or orange blossom water, which you could maybe find at like a really nice liquor store or a really cool grocery store, but I couldn't find it. Instead of orange blossom water, I'm going to use rose flower water, Rosie's Gin Fizz, after a really cool dog I once knew. Let's just get started. This one looks like a bottle of vodka. Don't be alarmed, it's just a great shaker that my friend had. First we're going to add two ounces of gin. Next up is one ounce of heavy cream. Now we're going to add the citrus, a juice of half a lemon, and the juice of half a lime. Next up is one egg white. You could buy pasteurized egg whites and use those, or powdered egg whites. I'm just living on the edge and I just got an egg white, but make sure your eggs are always fresh. Now I'll add two teaspoons of bar sugar. That's just super fine sugar. And last but not least, a little bit of rose flower water. I'll just add two to three drops. You don't want it to be too overwhelming because then it's gonna taste like perfume. Cover it with ice and we're ready to shake. I'm adding the egg white because it will give it a frothy, foamy texture. In order to achieve that, you have to shake this for a while. It's time to pour this into a cocktail glass. Top it off with a little bit of club soda or seltzer water. It's a very smooth taste. The citrus is there, but it's not too acidic and strong. And you do taste the gin, like I like to do in a cocktail. The delicious drink meant for slow drinking on Mardi Gras. I want you to tell me which famous New Yorker should I cook for? It could be anyone from Woody Allen to Jane Fonda to Donald Trump himself. You let me know. Leave a comment below. Cooking host.